You know the day destroys the night Night divides the day Try to run, try to hide Break on through to the other side Break on through to the other side Break on through to the other side, yeah Well, you know what I was thinking about uh, on Monday after Peter Dinklage won for supporting actor for Game of Thrones? How there are so many breaking through to the other side. And here on Keeping It Real with Alexander Garrett, I'm going to highlight a couple of cases. Of course, politically, Trump broke through again to CNN because everywhere he went yesterday at the U.N., CNN had to cover everything he said and every some kind of truth about the Democrats' corruption. Although I don't think he should have mentioned the Biden stuff on the call with Ukraine. Look, he, he's he's being very, very, very truthful in some of that and, and, and curious about why he's Biden's able to brag about how he was pulling funding from Ukraine as vice president. But, so he broke through on that at the UN yesterday. But then, then today I see, after Pelosi's impeachment inquiry, Trump's broken through economically too. Do you know his campaign has raised $13 million since the impeachment inquiry by Speaker Pelosi? $13 million. So if the Democrats thought that this was going to work out... <laughs> I don't know if it will, because now it's juicing up the Trump campaign even more. So President Trump, in many ways this week, breaking through with the transcript release, with Adam Schiff being dumb at the hearing, trying to improvise and make a parody of the call with Ukraine. I mean, of all the unserious, of all the serious hearings today, he made it a joke from the beginning, did he not? I won't even spare, I'll just spare you the audio on that one. So, Trump's broken through. But more importantly, more ground level, Peter Dinklage, of course, showing that no matter what you have, no matter the stature, no matter what uh, height deficit or what, what deficit you might have, you can be successful. And Peter Dinklage is very successful on the Game of Thrones. Very humble guy. Congratulations him for winning Supporting Actor. And then you think back, and in June, in June, Ali Stroker, who is a gal in a wheelchair, in Oklahoma, the musical, well, she said this when she accepted her Tony. That's right, Tony Award this past June. This award is for every kid who is watching tonight who has a disability, who has a limitation or a challenge, who has been waiting to see themselves represented in this arena. You are. And so there you go. Everywhere you look, people with disabilities, people with disadvantages are making it an advantage of themselves to break on through, to break the stigma. And I look forward to more awards, more good news like this coming through, whether on Broadway, whether in sports, Shaquem Shaquem Griffin with the Seahawks being drafted with one arm, whether him or whether the Alley Strokers of the world, Peter Dinklage's of TV, I hope and I pray and I know that there will be more breaking through on the other side. And here's why I'm doing it this way tonight. Because there's so much more good news and news and things we're talking about than what the transcript says and then what the house is doing. What do I always say? I always say it's time to look after each other. And looking after each other also means highlighting when people are breaking stigmas day in, day out to get their life going in one way or another. And Peter Dinklage has continued to get his life going. And I want to share with you a quote that he said, uh, which I shared not too long ago after he won, actually. 
But he said this. I hate that word, lucky. It cheapens a lot of hard work. Living in Brooklyn in an apartment without any heat and paying for dinner at the bodega with dimes, I didn't think I felt myself lucky back then. But doing plays for 50 bucks, trying to be true to myself as an artist and turning down commercials where they wanted a leprechaun, saying I was lucky negates the hard work I put in and spits on that guy who's freezing his ass off back in Brooklyn. So I wouldn't say I'm lucky. I'm fortunate enough to find or attract every talented, uh, very talented people. For some reason, I found them, and they found me. So my message tonight, I'll keep it with Alexander Garrett, going to keep this short, is freeze your butt off if you have to. Do the work. Grind on through. Break on through to the other side. Because that other side may be the door just what you needed to open up and be successful. Turn down politics for a minute if you really want to succeed. Turn down your doubts, your insecurities, the feeling that you have a stigma attached to you. Turn all that down and turn up the idea that, hey, I can do it. I can as Jim Morrison sings, break on through to the other side. Because that's all we're trying to do in this world, right? It's to find our breakthrough. Whether it is winning a Tony, whether it is finding that great spot on an amazing series called Game of Thrones, a breakthrough can happen for those who, as Peter Dinklage says, froze their butts off. So do it. Do the work. Never relent, never stop podcasting if you want to be a podcaster, never stop producing if you want to be a talk radio producer, never stop doing what you want to do, because then you too can break on through to the other side. So many breakthroughs this week. Why not highlight more than just the president's run of the UN and, and, and all the transcript and stuff and all the debate about that and the impeachment inquiry? Why not highlight real stories of Allie Stoker, who in Oklahoma became the first ever, uh, I believe, disabled woman or disabled actor, actress to win a Tony. How about Peter Dinklage? How about others who just stick their neck out? Be good Samaritans. Doing the work, putting down the phone and actually picking up a five-year-old after her father commits suicide. Why don't we have those more in the world? Why don't we cover those people, those heroes more in this world? And be successful at it. And so from the age of two, Ali Shoker, by the way, was in a car accident. But she did not relent. She is now a Tony Award winner. So, yes... You too can break on through to the other side. You just got to believe in yourself that you can smash the stigmas and break on through with good news and not be in the cynical news cycle that we have each and every day. So join me. Break on through to the other side and work because the other side is so beautiful. Whatever door might open for you, that is break on through and get that door open. Break on through.